Hey guys, it's beautiful here in Virginia. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I am, oh, hold on, I'm my purse. Okay. Um, I'm on my way to take all the stuff that Trinson sent me back. Yeah, I just went to the bank. Wanted to see what you thought of my hair like this. Um, and honestly, um, it came out really pretty. You can see, you know, it's a little bit, um, sorry I'm shaky, but I'm on my phone. Um, I like it. I like it. I like how it came out. Um, I also like how my makeup came out and this lipstick here is the stuff that came in the Allure Beauty Box. So, um, that's nice. And on my eyes, on this part here, the, I don't know if you can see. Okay. So the lighter color is the champagne color that came in my one of the eyeshadows that came in my shiny box and the dark color is the metals it's like a cranberry color and it came in the um i forgot something metals that we got in the beauty um boxy charm so i am i'm gonna try to take you a little bit of my day i do have my Mac mix and match box in and i'm gonna um i'm going to i got a half filmed so i'm gonna try everything on today I am on my weight loss journey because <laughs> I got on the scale the other day. Well, after those two pants didn't fit from Transcend, I, and that's my normal size. So I knew I gained a little bit of weight, just as we all did, but I didn't realize how much I gained 10 damn pounds. So I am losing weight. I am down two pounds since that happened. And um, yeah, so I'm starting to work on my weight loss journey. I'm heading over to get my skinny latte over at um, Starbucks. And then, I don't know, I have to clean. I don't know if I want to go home and do my mix and match box try on. I'm super excited about all the stuff you're going to see. And then I also might want to take you through a little cool store that is like a thrift store and a lot of people do like refinished wood projects and I haven't been in there in a while and sometimes that motivates me to clean when I have something new to add to my wall. I'm not sure I want to put my crab um, painting, the little blue crab that I did. I, I don't know if you guys saw that. It was a window pane that I painted with the blue crabs and I took down the Christmas stuff and I don't know if I want that up so I might go look for another um, picture to put above the wall so maybe you can come with me all right so hang tight here we go okay so I'm just gonna order my thing I'm in the drive-thru yesterday when I was coming through here they had a um, problem with their espresso machine I think they were only they were down to one espresso machine so um, the lines taking a while um, so we'll see how long this takes but I feel like getting out of the car uh, so I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. It is fantastic here. Oh, we're coming up. Hold on. All right, let's see here. Hi, thank you for visiting Starbucks. Erin speaking. What can we do for you? Hey, can I get a venti skinny vanilla latte hot? A venti skinny vanilla latte? Oh, like a hot, right? hot. Oh, ready? Anything else for you? Nope, that's it. Aubrey will have the total for you in Thanks. Thank you. I swear to God, sometimes these people don't know what they're doing here. I always know like there's a group, There's they know me here, but there's like a group of people that work here that are fantastic and you move through the line like super quick. And then you get some some of these people that just can't, they can't multitask. Um, they're really struggling. <laughs> I actually wanted my daughter to get a job here. I thought this would be a great job for her because um, I think they help you pay for college at Starbucks, which is really cool. And she's 17 and in high school and they actually do still take, um, they take teenagers under 18. That's been an issue that a lot of the restaurants and a lot of places around here are doing is they're not hiring kids in school, um, maybe because of our restrictions, maybe because they don't want to. I mean, I don't know, but she's uh, she did get a job actually recently, so I'll have to tell you a story. So my ex-husband, um, if any of you haven't been caught up on my drama, so I was married for 18 years. We were together for 22. 
and I was 16 years old when I met him. Uh, we got divorced five or six years ago, and um, he couldn't be alone, and he found this girl and got married to her right away. Um, and so when he did, um, I've done so much to try to be nice, try to like her. I, she's, she's been decent to my children. Um, my middle son stayed living with them, and my oldest and my youngest stayed with me. And um, sorry, we're we're the next step in line to get my drink here, so I might have to take a pause. But anyway, um, yeah. Hold on one second. Let me get this coffee. Hey, how are hey, you? good. How are you? Good. It's fun, even. Okay, now your hair looks like extra cute today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> today I did it. <laughs> You're late. What the hell? Yeah, I don't have to work today. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why I had time to do my hair, because I got to sleep in and okay. take my time. <laughs> I didn't come in until 8 today, so I was like, wow, I feel like a human being. I know. It's so. I couldn't even sleep in, though. I still woke up at 6.30. I was like... Bodies are weird. They do that. It's annoying. I tried to sleep in. Didn't work. I couldn't stay up late either. I like zonked out before 10 o'clock. So. Yeah. It's like my boyfriend's like, are you going to do something? Are you going to go out? And I'm like, no. I'm just yeah. going to go to bed. It's, if you don't work tomorrow. Sleep becomes more important when you're older. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> You guys have your other espresso machine fixed? Yes. That's good. Yes. That's why you moved at a fairly quick pace. Yeah. Because it was like, we have it fixed, but the blonde espresso is in it. So if it breaks, we don't have blonde espresso again. All the signs say blonde. I don't know. Oh. Uh, I just need to be new. I, we just need new ones. It's fine. Thank you, dear. Have a good day. You too. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little chatty. Um, she actually always loves my hair, and she comments. She likes my hair when I put it up in a messy bun, and she always thinks it looks adorable. And the, when I do that, that's because I did not have time to do my hair. All right, so anyway, where were we? So my middle son decided to stay with my ex-husband. And through this process, um, he was unsupervised. My ex was not home, didn't know where the kid was. Sometimes for a week at a time, I'm like, hey, I can't get a hold of Drew. Do you know where he is? I don't know where he is. Like, just not good parenting. And I guess maybe because his new wife was new and didn't know him well, didn't want to rock the boat. She really didn't do much to help with the situation over there. Man, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get out into traffic. So, um... So anyway, Drew lives with me now. He did eventually move in with me. He had a few uh, few big blowouts with his dad, one in front of his new wife. And um, the boys really do not like their stepmother very much. They put up with her, but they don't really like her. Um, but the but my middle daughter does, you know, she likes her, I think, fine. Um, and Mackenzie wants to get a job. And I, so to back up why I felt this way, you know, my one son moved out two years ago and is in Alabama. Then I lost another son to the military. You know, he's back now, but it was like two years of heartbreak for me, kind of trying to adjust to the ne the empty nest syndrome that I had severely. And then, um, so we were trying to get her a job that she can work because she'll be at a local community college across the street for two years. And then her um, for her bachelor's, she will be going to... Um, jam you and uh, this summer is the last summer before her senior year and um, I wanted her here and her stepmother kept trying to get her a job with her over the summer which means my daughter would have to move out with out from for like two and a half months for me and it was just breaking my heart it was just completely destroying me I was like crying about it and upset so I had asked my ex-husband I said can you please back off of this job thing where Kenzie needs to leave me for the summer. I, I just mentally, I just don't think I can handle it right now. He never replied, which is typical. Uh, he's a completely different asshole than the asshole I left. Bleep, bleep. Um, anyway, 
I don't think it matters because I, I don't think I'm monetized. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so they went out to dinner Wednesday night and Kenzie comes in the house all excited because um, I know more about the job. They're going to give me, they're going to call me and I'm going to be an assistant teacher, she said. So she thinks that this job somehow is going to, because she wants to be a teacher, help her to daycare, help her in her, her career as a teacher. Granted, I think it would give her experience with kids for sure, but she's going to have, um, she'll be in the tech center in her senior year next year for teaching and she'll do live classroom work and internships for that and um, make lesson plans and all that kind of stuff. So, um, but you know, as I suspected, I had asked my ex, please back off of this, the topic. Don't push that. Don't push Mackenzie. And Kenzie comes in all excited about it the other day because they didn't back off. Her stepmother just talked all about it with her. And I honestly feel like she did it on purpose, knowing it was hurting me, knowing I didn't want it. Um, I don't think she cares. I think maybe that's exactly why she did it, just because she knew it would bother me. Um, so, but then I get a call from um, Kenzie on Friday, all excited, because she got a call back from an application she put in a while ago for, um, to work at Central Deli. Let's see if I can park here, this guy's not moving. To park at Central Deli, uh, or I mean to work at Central Deli, and it's eight dollars an hour plus tips. It's, it's a half mile down the road from our house, so she literally, um, gets off school at 2 and she has plenty of time to get home, change, let the dogs out, and get back to the deli at three by 3 o'clock. And, um, and she only works till 8, so she's got good hours because then she's still got a couple hours before she goes to bed she can do homework. So... Plus she gets tips on top of the eight bucks. So it was a good deal. So she, she is so, so, so excited. Um, so that kind of blew, I think the, uh, the ex-wife's plans. And I think that that's actually going to be a much better job for her. She'll be really close to school when she, she can keep that job and work it all through college. Honestly, her goal is to pay for her first two years of community college with this part-time job she's getting. Um, I don't know where I got this kid that she wants that to wants to do that but I'm very very proud of her um, all right I gotta run in real quick and take this big bundle into and stuff it in this is the um, all the stuff from Trenton look how big it is I had to put every I didn't keep anything so I had to put everything in here um, and I'm going to be back so hold on okay all right so um, I am gonna take you guys with me I don't think I can flip the camera when I'm videoing in this format or the, my phone, but I'm gonna show you some of the things at the store that we're going to. Um, the one I, I wanna look for a, um, a thing for my wall. Sometimes I just look and don't find anything, but it is the funnest store. It is so fun. It's called the Lazy Daisy. I'm, in, I'm here in Virginia. Um, it is like 60 degrees out today, which I'm so thrilled because we had snow, we had all these days off. It was just like, so miserable and blah and honestly it depresses me to have gray like gray and dreary days like this it just really depresses me i i need sunshine i probably need to start taking some extra vitamin c during the winter because i get really kind of down um so and uh yeah so i'm in great spirits today because i am mackenzie got a job local so that means hopefully she cross your fingers and say a prayer she is going to keep that job and we're going to we're going to keep her for the summer. Um, I booked a beach house to Nags Head for the end of um, August and, and uh, we got a huge, huge beach house. I'm super excited. It's it's beautiful. It's called the Hubbaloo, Hubbaloo or something like that. And it's in Corolla, I believe. It's on it's Oceanside, so I think it's within walking distance from the beach. but. We got a big crew. There's like nine of us. So my boyfriend and I, there's five kids between the two of us. Uh, they are the ages of 17 to, tw well, 25. Yeah, 17 to 25. Um, probably have a couple friends with us as well and a boyfriend of my my boyfriend's daughter my, is probably going to bring her boyfriend. So I think there's going to be quite a bit of us. And we got a place with five bedrooms. So each of the kids will have their own room. Um, it has a hot tub, it has a 
um, its own pool. So if we don't feel like going to the beach and we just want to chill out, there's a hot tub in the pool for the evenings and it's got a couple little swings. It's so bright and cheery and sunny. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but it's expensive. And I, I guess I just got lucky because I was looking at the dates in, you know, prime season. It's expensive to rent a house the size that we would need for all the adult children we have. And um, it's not like I can put, you know, I guess I could, but a 25 year old and a 19 year old in bunk beds together. That's kind of weird. <laughs> so um, I had been looking and the prices for all the places, plus we need dog friendly. And that narrowed it down to like nine choices for me. Um, and everywhere was like five, $6,000 for the week, which was ridiculous. And, um, but I could get the same size house for 900 for the week if I was going off season. What fun is that? Who wants to go to the beach when there's no sunshine and you can't get in your bathing suit? Uh, that's another reason I need to lose some weight because I would, I'm not comfortable at this point being in a two piece. I, I need to get comfortable in the body. So I gotta, I gotta drop some weight. But, um, anyway, I digress. I could do that a lot. Um, yeah, so I have, um, I found it for $2,000 still in the warm sunny time it was the only week the other weeks were four to six thousand so i am super stoked that uh, we will be going on a family vacation together and um it looks like a real like it's just going to be a really fun time um what do you guys think though you know it's a lot of mouths to feed to have nine adult people that are eating and you know all of the kids yeah all the kids have a job my son his son my daughter his his daughter, and Mackenzie's the only minor, my daughter, so I'm like, I don't know if she should have to pay anything just because she's, she's still so little. Uh, and, but I think the adult, the adult children probably should help a little bit with uh, the cost of food. Um, and if they bring a friend, you know, they for sure should. Um, so I would love your opinions on that. The kids that we're talking about would be 19, 20, Two, twenty-three. I think she's turning 23 and he'll be 26 by the time we go so you guys let me know do the adult kids who all have paying jobs help with the cost I'm paying for the entire uh, the entire um, beach house and we are gonna do some mostly meals at home we'll probably eat out like at a nice place once that we'll probably pay for but I'm thinking that they should probably help a little with food so um, I would love your opinions on that. All right, I know this video is getting a little bit long. We're actually pulling into the Lazy Daisy as we speak. I'm gonna do a real quick little tour of this place for you because it's so cool. If you like this kind of stuff, I, I like I like this kind of stuff. So this, this to me is tons of fun. Um, and then, then what I'm gonna do is um, go back home in a little bit here and do, and do the, um, mix and match unboxing finish that up for you and unload both of them or upload both of them so we can get this up and tell me what you guys think about this just uh, you know a little vlogging i don't normally do it I'm not very good at it uh, but sometimes it might be fun to just to uh, learn a little bit more about the person that shows you clothes on makeup all the time all right let's take a look i'm gonna turn you off for a second and turn you back on so hold on I'm gonna take you in here, but um, I'm not gonna talk in here because I don't want everybody staring at me funny. So hang tight.
Really like this. That is so cute. Oh, there's something. Everything looks good for your resume, so let's talk salary. Okay, can I use your desk phone? Uh, sure. Can I get oh, a there's music on in here. Oh, <laughs> those are cute. Look at these guys. I kind of want to get a new kitchen table at some point, too. What does it say? Life's peachy at the beachy. Too cute. <laughs> His friends. This is great stuff, too. It's the uh, chalkboard paint. Courage and hope. See, there's just lots of neat little things in this place. I love this. Fire 50 bucks. That'd be cute for my front porch. Look at this, guys. 115 bucks for this gorgeous table. If you like making stuff yourself, this is really neat. Look at that. This is all one set? Yeah. It's all one piece. So different vendors have stuff that they keep in here and rent space. So much to look at. What are these? Coloring roll. Right. Are these Alex and Annie? No, but they're cute. That one's speaking to me. It's ten dollars. Scented reach. Three bucks, yeah. Those are cute for three dollars. Alright, there's not much room to walk. Never stop making wishes. Oh, I love this. That one's 64. It's cute. Maybe it's cold outside. I wish my purse didn't knock things over in here. Always kiss me goodnight. all the chalkboard paint. So cute. Country sheet perfection. It looks like her own line. Too cool. I think this is an empty room. Yep. Then these rooms are kind of oldie. 
I don't usually find things in this room. Look at that. And a lot of like old glassware and stuff. Coca-Cola glasses. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't the one I like. This I like. Look at this. Blue moon table and two chairs, $85. What the heck is that? I mean, it's just an endless rooms of stuff. That's cool. I really like it. Gosh, that's so neat. What do you guys think of this? Kind of says me on it. There's another cutesy little tail over here. Desk. So I'm done guys. Um, I just want to give you an update. Uh, I bought the table that you saw at the very end of the clip. It was the with the really beautiful um, turquoise legs and the white weathered finish and it had white chairs that were all weathered and it had and it was so smooth. It was $1.99 and I have been looking for a kitchen table and that was so unique and it had a really pretty print too for um, the chairs and I have a little bit of red in my kitchen. I can't quite afford to redo my kitchen yet um, with this house that I built in, but I can afford that. Um, so I got that table for with four chairs for $1.99. Um, she said, the lady that uh, said that the person who made that table does the some of the best work she's ever seen. She said, you won't have any problems with it. So I'm super, super, super excited. Um, we're either gonna pick that table up 
today or tomorrow, it depends on whether or not my boyfriend gets done with work and gets to my house. I'm trying to find a parking spot. I'm at Target. Ah! Um, anyway, if he gets home before they close, because he did have to work today. So, um, all right. we are going to uh, hopefully pick it up. I'd love to get it today. I will post a update video once it's beautiful and in its spot. Um, it was kind of dark down in their basement of where they had that, so it was hard for me to really get a great video of it. But I am going to show you what it looks like. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. So what an awesome find. I'm glad you guys were with me to find it. Have a great day. You'll see me in a little bit. Bye.